Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts. Today we're featuring a 1978 GMC Jimmy, old uh, K5 Blazer, old school. So this was a uh, father and son's project. They restored it, uh, did a bunch of work on it. Uh, I think it was one about, they worked on it about four years and then now they're gonna move on and do something else. So we brought it down to, for us to sell. It's in really good shape. It's got a 350 in it, a new 350. It's been completely repainted. It's got new suspension in it, new tires, uh, new hubs, a whole bunch of things. Um, it's, in, it's in great shape for what it is. So typically these would be rusted out. There is hardly any rust on this. The only spot is on the driver's side door and the interior panel and I'll show you that and other than that. So you can see it's got an upgraded headlight there. Uh, it's got an upgraded grill. It's got new bumpers on it. You can see in really, really good shape. So the underside here, actually, let me give you some light. Uh, so pretty clean. So tires are new. As I mentioned, they've uh, they upgraded the hubs. This is the only exterior thing, and I'll see if I can get a new uh, lens for that, but that's really the only mark on this thing. Um, So you can see uh, under here, uh, typically those would be uh, spots of rust, surface rust uh, at least at a minimum, and there isn't any um, on this rig. So it's really clean. They did a great job on the paint. So they haven't had the, the top off, so this back canopy comes off and converts. Um, so it turns, you can turn this into a convertible if you wanted to. Uh, again, you can see there's no rust on the body panels or in the back. There was no rust repair done. And if you look at the wheel wells, um, that's really clean for this generation car. These, uh, well, just because they were older, they, they held water and um, so typically rusted and uh, not the case on this. So you can see the bumper is new, tailgate's in great shape. It's got a trailer hitch on it. I'll show you the undercarriage real quick here. So it's got a new plate in the back. They had the transmission rebuilt and they put a uh, shift kit in it. So if you're not familiar with those, that's a, <laughs> that's a shift kit with a very positive <laughs> engagement. And uh, we had one in our old Suburban. It feels like, well, I don't know what it feels. It feels like someone's smashing your car into gear. But um, that's what they're designed for, and they were uh, put in usually uh, tow package cars. So check this out. Uh, if you're under 30 years old, you, you couldn't have imagined this, but a manual rear window opens and closes perfectly. So when you close that in, you're done. Um, now, as far as opening goes, I just realized I don't know. Here we go. Let me open this for you real quick. So you've got a full-size spare. They had a subwoofer put in it, and then they just built a case, one, to, to hide it, and then two, to allow you to store stuff on top of that. That's not connected at all. That would just come in and out, and you could take the subwoofer out. So, so you can see some surface rust here, but minor. Uh, and then a little surface rust here. But the rest of this tailgate is really, really clean. And you can see on the, the sills here, no signs of rust. And you can see in the interior, uh, up in the headliner, no signs of rust. So, really clean. And that tailgate weighs about 200 pounds. So, anyways, again, uh, peri like areas of rust would definitely be down here on the quarter panels and um, there isn't any so and again like for wheel wells and stuff very very clean so they bought this from the second owner and he bought it in 1983 from the original owner so and it's, it was uh, bought and owned in Portland the entire time and has always been garaged so that probably is why there's no rust on this thing and why it's in such good shape. Uh, if this would have been kept outside, you'd have rust all over it. And you can see the new hubs there. So, 
Uh, I'll walk you through the interior real quick. So they had a uh, an alarm installed. So there's your door panels. Well, here's the uh, rust I was talking about. This is the only spot, and um, I don't know if that's worth even dealing with. Um, and then that has, uh, because water has gotten in there, you can see a little surface rust here, but that's pretty minimal for a car this generation. So you can see the door panels are in good shape. They put new upholstery in it. So those are really clean. And then the back seat. Uh, you know, I don't know how to put that up. I don't even know if it actually goes up. It might not even go up. So let me just walk back here and show you. It's hard to see. Um, so let me turn the flashlight on it and show you in the interior. So that's all new upholstery. Um, and you can see the original, the carpet is in really good shape as is the floor. So and there's the, uh, the passenger side. I guess so. So again, it's new. That door panel is, uh, I think that's original and the dash is original, which is hard to believe because these all cracked. And this is in really good shape. So that little module there in the corner is for the Clifford alarm. So I'll start it up. So the transfer case, a four-wheel drive, high and low work. I'll show you the engine when we're done here. Uh, glove box, the original owner's man, if you can believe that. So it does not have air conditioning, it's just got fan control. They put an aftermarket stereo in here. Uh, of course with the subwoofer. Let's see if I can get that tuned in. Uh, I can't see. Let me tune that. So, we'll I have to work on that. I know it works. It's operational. So there's a USB port. Uh, it shows 87,000 miles with the zero. Um, I'm not sure about the mileage on it. So I can't, I don't know if it's got 187 or 87. It does have a zero in that. Um, let me show you that. And so, and all the gauges work, temperature gauge, voltage gauge, and oil pressure works. You've got uh, wipers. There's an aftermarket intermittent wiper uh, delay, but that does not, they had troubles with it, so they just uh, defaulted to the regular wipers. I'll show you that the turn signal works. So you've got, you have a left turn signal, but the indicator light's not working, and the right one is working. They both work, the left bulb is out, it looks like. Um, and then the wipers, just so you know that they work. So that's kind of it. Uh, you can see on the interior, uh, there's no, it's very, very clean. I'm gonna show you the engine compartment real quick. And then I'll uh, get on with this. Oops, let me turn the lights off. So the paint's really, really clean. They did a great job when they did it. So there you go. There's the engine, which is a, it's a new 350, and you can see so the, the engine walls, the fender wells, all in good shape, clean. So there you go, there you have it. Really nice, old school, and uh, for what we're asking for it, I thought about maybe buying it myself. But if you'd like uh, additional information or have questions, please feel free to contact us. We can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts.